down that <laughs> What? What? Huh? You're laughing so hard, you're crying. She has on my handle, dude. Huh? Looks like someone took a marker right there. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not bleeding because if I was. You better, you better pause that. Let me see. Because if you're bleeding, I'm not bleeding. I had to hurt. God, I heard that crap. Crap. Yeah, see? No blood. <laughs> Battle scars, bitches. That had to hurt. Oh yeah, you should try it sometime. It felt real good. I heard it crack. You, you should try it. Head. You should try it. No, I'll pass. No, you should try it. I was like, come on. No. Try to cut down. You're the one over here laughing. Get your ass over here. You're gonna get whacked. No, I've been whacked by his Stuff harder than that. <laughs> <coughs> and no, I'm not serious, guys. I, yeah. And guys, you can buy this rope polish over there by Petro across the... Petro if you're in Effingham area. Across the highway in Effingham across from Spico Truck and Lube. Because Rebels Metal Polish. Yeah, he might have to get some more of this. It's about $20 a bottle and it's worth it. Oh yes, yeah, but like I and as I said earlier, there is no reason for a Kirby to look like this because this is just. Tell me, wipe it on. All you gotta do is once you uh, you get a wipe shop. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. All you gotta do is get a shop ray. Well, you can use anything. You can use any kind of rag, really, but you wipe it on. You squirt on the rag and wipe it on whatever it is you're waxing or polishing. I jump back in a while and they shine. Truckers use it on their wheels. Huh, Truckers use this on their wheels. It's used for chrome, steel, aluminum, and stainless steel. And this is chrome, so. You got chrome? Aluminum and stainless steel. Do not use on windows or glass. Tell what it'll do. Because it will streak your windows and glass. And no, we haven't found this out. We just know. <laughs> That's what Roy used to say when he was alive. See, it's starting to shine. It just probably won't be 100% right off. It takes sometimes. There we go. I really ought to thump a knot in whoever's had this. 
because I tell you, my sand tweeter was nasty, but not this bad. There we go. Now we're now it's starting to get somewhere. I mean, like, and as old as this Kirby is, guys, I'm trying to take this crap off because, honestly, I can't afford to have it refurbished, which eventually it's probably going to have to be done anyway. But there ain't no uh, vacuum shop around here that'll do it, so... See, now it's starting to... But whoever had this, really should have their butt kicked. Because I can tell you, if you ain't going to keep these things clean, these Kirby's, because they're grown, dirt shows up on it pretty damn quick. And pretty easy, too. And because this crap was literally caked on there. Probably going to have to get a different <laughs> cloth. Look at this. This was on my Kirby front and back side. Now I'm going to have to get me a different one because there's a tank full of them in there. Because now I can just put another fresh crow polish on that and it'll just... This is why if you get Kirby's guys, you gotta keep them clean for heaven's sakes. This is ridiculous. For heaven's sakes, you're gonna take these things to an auction, clean the damn things up. Kirby's are going to be getting polished. Just don't know when yet, but I'm going to get them all done. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. See, look at that shine already. I can see it. I'm actually starting to see myself in this. No wonder why it wasn't coming clean. Because of that. Yeah, it should make the rest of this easier. Man, that's, that's the way this thing should look, guys. I might want to do the head again. I'm going to. There we go. Look at this. Years of crap built up on this. Uh, whoever had it. This is the way it should look. Dang, look at this.
that's the way that should look. <clears throat> Perfect. Like I said, and my dedication to Kirby's, man, like, I've been around these things since I was a kid. It's a very, very slow process. That's the thing. When you have Kirby's guys, don't get frustrated. I got whacked in the head in part one, and it hurt like a, a mofo. And as dirty as this was, I'm actually having to push down on it. Because this is just absolutely pathetic. Never in my life have I seen a Kirby this freaking nasty. See, look at this. This is ridiculous. It's looking better slowly, but surely.
So far, we're getting a good result out of this. And that's the problem is with the, uh, you get curvies like this when they're used. They don't have their shine, they're dull looking. <coughs> and the problem is with people, you know, they just don't want to take the time to You know, do it so, which I think if you're gonna even if you want to sell a Kirby or whatever, and I've seen people on garage sale sites, they don't even bother to clean them up, which I think is kind of stupid. If anyone's gonna sell a Kirby, clean them up, make sure they run the way they're supposed to, uh, it doesn't need any kind of maintenance done on it. I mean, well, routine servicing or whatever. Whereas me, I do everything myself, so. Ah, oh, man. See, I'm actually having to bear down on this to actually get any of this crap out. Starting to shine like brand new, like the day it come off the shelf. I'm actually starting to see myself. Hey! Lastly! She fell asleep.
looks good. And like I said, it it gets the job done. Uh, even though it might not be 100%. Take the handle off here so I'm not getting whacked in the head again. And this is all about. <coughs> You know, keeping your Kirby's clean. So, here's what I got going on so far. I'll see you in part three.